With our project floor plan in place, we will begin the design of the fire sprinkler system using the CAT Sprinkler Professionals Intelligent Software Solutions for the construction industry. In this demonstration, you will see how you can rapidly complete your design and print parts list generated in a format of your choice upon completion. You will see how the software will perform all calculations for the fire sprinkler system by automatically reading all data from the drawing. To start the Sprinkler Professional, go under the CATS Commander and find under General the project data information required for setting up your project. In the Preferences, you can set up the software to perform the calculation as per Hazen Williams or Darcy Weisbach. You can also choose the type of pipe you are using and other specifications for your project, such as ceiling height, coverage of fire sprinkler heads, distance between heads, and distance between the heads and the walls. After establishing the design criteria, you can have the heads automatically placed in the room by selecting the four interior walls of that room. The software will calculate the coverage area for this room and place the heads. Automatically, a window opens to show the information for the room and the sprinkler head selection. After selecting the type of fire sprinkler head from the database and the direction arrow specifying direction of flow for that area, the software places the quantity, spacing between, and elevation of the heads. Once all the sprinkler heads are in place, the system automatically assigns numbers to the heads. In the CATS Commander under Pipelines, you find Draw Pipes. This is similar to the AutoCAD function line. Begin by starting at the floor and giving the line an elevation in Z direction. Then move the line in X direction. Finally, move the line in the Y direction you have now established the center line of a fire sprinkler main. You are now ready to select the location on the fire sprinkler main line where you would like to place the branch pipe supplying the fire sprinkler's heads. Using the snap nearest command in the CATS commander, you can draw the branch pipe center line alongside of or above the fire sprinkler heads. After the layout is completed, you connect the sprinkler heads automatically to the pipes by highlighting those sprinklers that are going to be connected. A window appears for you to confirm the type of connection that you would like to use for that area. As you can see, the center room to the right has not been connected. For this space, we will use the Draw Automatically Select Type command. You will be prompted to select the branch line that you will connect to. You will then be prompted to select the first and last sprinkler head to be connected. In this instance, we select 24 through 32. The type of connection once more must be selected. We will select the third, which is a bottom outlet to the fire sprinkler head. Select OK and the piping is placed on the drawing. After the layout is completed, you can delete the pipe ends that are not needed. Next, you define the operating remote area for the hydraulic calculation. The interconnecting pipe sections are numbered automatically. Prior to the hydraulic calculation, you have to recheck the starting values. You can modify or select the starting values indicated. Select OK. You will now see the piping lengths, fittings, type, and quantities of the fire sprinkler heads. Calculation data may be inserted onto the drawing at the location where you would like to place it. 
You can also export the calculation results to an Excel spreadsheet. Similar to a layer tool, you may want to select information on the drawing that is not required for submission to local building authorities in the application for a fire sprinkler permit. For example, you may want to hide the numbering of the fire sprinkler heads, fabrication lengths of pipes, etc. Conversely, your fabrication facility would not necessarily need the hydraulic calculations. In the CATS commander, select the 1D to 3D command. The software database defaults will appear. You may change the values or select OK if the default values meet your design criteria. Highlight the section of the drawing that you want converted to 3D, generally the entire space. You are prompted to select the radius specifications for the elbows you are using. The default selection will be a standard radius 90. Choose OK. After the drawing is completed in 3D, you have the information for all the fittings and pipe. You are ready to send the order to your production facility or your automated machinery for fabrication.